What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. Today I'm going to be catfishing in a creek, all right? Yesterday I went to about two or three different places just to scout it out, places I've never been before. And I came upon this creek. So today I'm back with the stink bait, all right? That's what I use to catfish with, especially in a creek. Current's not too strong. It gets around pretty good, all right? So y'all stay tuned. Let's see what we can do. Yesterday I picked up two bags of trash from this place. Most of the trash was over here where, where I would have been fishing at. So I cleaned up that area. Today I brought me some more sacks. And later we're going to clean up this spot. I got the pole set up. And we are going to see what we can pull guys. Today I'm going to be using Primo Blood Super Sticky. Guys, you can get this at Walmart. It's about $3.50 a tub. It lasts me a good while. I got this catfish nectar. See, normally normally people would add water to this. But instead, I'm going to add this. Okay. Put this in there. That's going to soften it up a little bit. And then I got another trick I'm going to show you that I do. Take that catfish nectar. Get it in there real good. Garlic salt. Catfish love them some garlic. Toss a little in there like that. And I usually don't even mix this in. I just let it sit on top. I couldn't even get all four poles in the water before I got a bite. They're a little bullheaded. Well, I guess that's a start. A little start, guys. A little bullhead. Put him back. Guys, let me show you my setup for these catfish, okay? I got a one ounce slip weight, okay? Then I have a bead to guide that weight and so it doesn't get stuck on my swivel. Then I have just a sponge, small round sponge. And that's what I'm using to put this stink bait on, okay? This right here is my rod setup. I got four little rod holders from Walmart. They're about $2 a piece. And I got the Tiger Combos. I got four of them, okay? Now, this is what it looks like right here. I'm sure y'all have seen these at Walmart. Nice little durable catfish rods, guys. Now, I do change the stock line out because there's no telling how long that rod has been sitting on that shelf or where it came from. So I usually put about new 20-pound test line on it. I just put mono, just plain mono on it. All right, guys, we are hooked up. I hope it's not a turtle. Feels like a turtle. Doesn't feel like a catfish. Well, it ain't coming in, I know that. Oh, it's off. Stay over here. Stay over here. Oh man. Ah, it's a nice catfish. Get away from there. Oh man. It's a nice fish. Oh man. God, I hope I can get him in. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> oh man. Oh, 
Wow. Look at that. Oh, man. That is a nice fish. Wow. Check it out, guys. Little creek. It's a nice catfish. I believe that's a channel cat. I don't know. It's color. Sometimes it's hard to tell between a channel and a blue. I'm trying to watch my other poles now. Look at that. It's an over five pound channel right here. A little creek. Using the stink bait. Five pounder. We're gonna let this bad boy go. I'm not keeping anything today. Gotta get his juice back. Gone. There he goes. Five pound channel cat right there, guys. Well, may have been a blue. It's hard for me to tell sometimes. Either way, five pound catfish. I'm set up at the new spot. This It is a, fairly shallow in this new spot. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I guess we'll find out. But that's the beauty of fishing. You never know. Guess there are some in this shallow water. Nice little channel cat. I'm gonna release this little fella back in. There he goes. Well, new spot, guys. It didn't take five minutes to catch one. That's a pretty good sign. We'll see what happens. Guys, I have two fish on two separate poles. Let's get this one in first. I got another fish on that other one. There's one. Oh, stay up there, buddy. I think I should have another one on this one. Yeah, he's on. But at the same time, guys. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Bit at the same time. Two fish on two separate poles. That's crazy. That might be a first for me right there. Wow. They bit about, about the same time, about two seconds apart. I jerked, set the hook on this one, and then I looked over while I was reeling in that one, and then this one bit. <laughs> That's crazy. Sorry they're so dirty. I actually got another bot just a second ago and But anyway, let's put these two back at the same time just like they bit. Okay. They're slack in the line. Uh oh. Oh, got him. Well. I guess that worked out, didn't it? As I was trying to explain that, a little bullhead. He snatched it too, boy. That a boy. All right. Well, a little bullhead right there. Oh, well. Probably didn't want to mess with him anyway. He seemed a little too feisty for me. All right, guys. I'm going to give y'all a little demonstration real quick on why I use a slip weight while catfishing. Okay, especially in these small creeks like this. So we're gonna pretend like my pole is out in the water here, okay? So I got it set up, it's out in the water. Now, let's go down here to the setup, actually. So this weight is here. Let's say a catfish takes this and runs off with it. Well, look, my line, the weight's not moving necessarily. The line is just going through that slip weight, okay? So it's not creating tension, okay? So when that catfish grabs it and he doesn't feel tension, he's more than likely gonna keep running with it. So let's let's just tighten this up a little bit. Let's say you have it super tight. Let's say you have your line super tight, 
Well, look, as soon as that catfish grabs it, what does your pole do? Your pole moves too. So he might, he might feel that tension and let go. So that's why I use, I keep a little slack in the line. Not, not a tremendous amount, but just a little bit. Little things like that could help you catch more fish. Hooked up. Oh no. Turdell. Hmm. Wonder if that's what's being Get a bite, looks like. Gone, Tardell. The second spot died down, so I have moved to a third spot. Let's see what we can get. Feels like a small one. Yeah, it is a small one. Small little channel. And guys, I got confirmation that that five pounder that I caught earlier, that that was a high fin blue, okay? That was a high fin blue. Go ahead and put him back in the water. The little guy. Hooked back up here. Oh, there's a nice one. There we go. Guys, I've fished at three different spots today. And I've caught fish at all three spots. Not too bad for creek. Not too bad at all. That'd be a good little hole fryer, wouldn't it? All right, here we go. All right, guys, like I promised, I'm going to pick up some of this trash. Yeah, I picked up two bags of trash over here yesterday. But that was just what was right there, you know, like just right by the, the water. All right, guys, that ends our day here at the creek. Um, oh, I also got some good information from a few guys down here. Um, this, this older gentleman's been fishing here his whole life. Said there's crappie. Of course, there's catfish, largemouth bass. So, hey. I might have to come back down here and see what I can do with the crappie or maybe even bass fish for you guys. Let me turn this around and let me show y'all something. Guys, I, this is one of those industrial size trash bags. This sucker's half full of trash that I picked up. And we're talking just anything and everything, guys. Fast food, line packages of from lures hooks just all kind of junk guys if you go fishing make sure you clean up after yourself all right i understand you may forget a piece of trash one time but i mean this stuff is just deliberately thrown on the ground left and guys that that's just not good not good fisherman code all right so anyway i hope y'all enjoyed the video we ended up with about six or seven catfish including that five pound blue cat, okay? I know at first I said it was a channel, but the, the coloring was weird on it. It was very hard to tell. Appreciate y'all for watching. Guys, if you're subscribed, thank you so much. Y'all need to go ahead and go to that notification bell. Click on that notification bell, okay? It's gonna let you know every time I post a video. If you're not subscribed, I would, I would recommend subscribing to the channel. I would really appreciate it. Y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.